Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Karen Hiller. I am last year's chair for the City of Topeka Social Service Grants Committee. We are um, we're welcoming you all here this morning. The intent of the meeting this morning is really organizational for our committee. We'll we'll defer um, and let Brett Martin or or his designee from United Way fill agencies in on the um, on the calendar and what to expect. Um, we've got a little inside peek that we know have, that they have everything already to to kick off. So. Um, it depends on which council committee you're on, but often the first meeting is just organizational um, in order to elect a chair and to confirm a calendar and meeting dates. And um, really, um, that's what we expect to do today. Again, we'll go ahead and defer to um, United Way, since especially so many people are on. And I see lots of um, new names as well, which is wonderful. Welcome, all of you. And um, we'll. We'll go ahead and let there be a, a preview of what's what's already scheduled for this spring. Um, uh, excuse me, Councilwoman. We do have an agenda. Correct. And that and you did call it to order. Now we need to elect the chair. Well, I usually start a meeting with a with a, a briefing on what's happening, and so we're fine with that. Brett has been fairly has been very faithful in attending these meetings, and so um, hopefully that will will continue. And something just came up today. Um, yes, the, the, the second item on the agenda, um, just for everybody's knowledge, the agenda is to elect the chair, um, to talk about training internally in our committee on the grant process, to review our timeline and set future meetings, and then any other items. It really is that simple. So with that, um, and only two of us here, we'll open the floor to uh, for nominations for this year's chair. Well, would you like to chair it again? Would you like to be a chair for this year? If not, I'll chair it. Um, it's fine with me to hand it off. It's been a good developing couple, couple of years. I think we've got something good going. I'm happy to be just a member. Okay, so do you want to nominate me or you want me to nominate myself? <laughs> nominate yourself and we'll go. <laughs> okay, um, I'll nominate myself to, for the 2023 chair. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, it's 2-0. If Kel has a problem with that, I guess we can revote. I don't know how that works. Okay, <laughs> training for SSG Committee on Grant Process. Who's going to handle that? Well, uh, Councilwoman, do you need any assistance on that? Because it, we all voted on it in, in the... Um, at the end of the year, as a council, there were very few changes to what the process was from last year. So if there's no real briefing needed, I don't know that we need to spend time on it for ourselves. I, I would like a briefing on it. Okay. It's been a long time since I've been on social services grants. I know things have changed. So um, Carrie, will you brief us on that? I think. It, yes, ma'am. Brett. Thank you. Yeah, good morning, Councilwoman. Uh, Brett Martin from United Way of Caw Valley. We serve as the vendors for the social services grants. I'm happy to provide uh, an overview today of the uh, process. Um, uh, since we uh, took over the process uh, a few years ago, we've made a few changes, but for the most part, it looks the same. Uh, these social services grants are still a mix of general funds and HUD dollars that come into the community. Um, the priority areas that we have for those remain the same. That is uh, emergency aid and um, preventive and counseling programs that uh, serve um, uh, groups within uh, the city limits of uh, Topeka. Recording in progress. Um, in terms of uh, uh, in in terms of the process, we have uh, an RFP release that will occur in April, and those grants will uh, go live the following week. We will have a grant workshop 
and that will be via Zoom where we will invite all of those who are interested in applying to attend. We do a training and answer any questions about uh, the uh, request for proposal in that meeting. This is a change from the past. It usually the, the RFP went live during the workshop, but uh, a couple of cycles ago, uh, Councilman Emerson suggested that we put the RFP out there for a week and let people read it and then have the workshop. So now we have the work, now we have the workshop a week after it goes live. Uh, around the end of May is when those submissions are due and the team from United Way of Caw Valley provides technical assistance along with any input we need from city staff to ensure that uh, programs have the supports they need to submit the best possible applications. And that submission deadline is, uh, again, near the uh, end of May. At the beginning of June, uh, we start the scoring and we recruit three to five volunteers who have grant experience, as we have in the past. Those uh, independent reviewers spend uh, about 40 hours each uh, on those uh, grants. So it's a significant lift for them and it's a significant investment of a volunteer time. Once we have that uh, process completed, then uh, we usually uh, notify applicants right there around the 1st of June as we start scoring if anybody didn't meet the minimum requirements. And then we score those and we get those to the Social Services Grants Committee near the end of June. And it's really in late June, early July, where we submit the scores. Um, we have an appeals process. The appeals process closes somewhere in early June because the idea is we need to have uh, the recommendations ready for City Council by August 1. At that point, then, those final notifications uh, are made, contracts uh, are drawn up during the fall, and the grant year begins January 1 through December of that year. Uh, we determined uh, internally this last year that we would have the general fund dollars from the city and the CDBG uh, dollars from HUD be on the same cycle. They used to be on different cycles. It was very difficult for the uh, agencies, and so we did make that process improvement, and it all runs on the same cycle now, uh, January through December, and they have quarterly uh, um, uh, they have quarterly reports that they submit and that we as United Way of Caw Valley monitor. That's essentially the process. Um, any any questions? Was that too high of an overview? We need more detail. Councilwoman, I think you're muted. Check mic check, yeah, for me. Um, and I and I um, no, that was great. Um, Karen, I believe you sent in the grant process timeline for 2024 for this meeting, um, and this is this is excellent. Is, is this from you, I believe? Yes, well, it's, it's what the committee adopted last year. Okay. If their grant packets, they will see an abridged version of that. that okay. There's the points that Brett just covered uh -huh. um, for our committee. We have a, you know, we've got that whole full calendar year uh, round, and so we needed to review that as well. Oh, okay, okay. but. It kind of looks like he kind of read off of that, so that was that was awesome. He did. Okay. Okay. All right. Is there any any questions for Brett Martin? Any questions for Brett? If not, we will move on. Um, did I? See? It's Brett, right? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. I thought I said Brent. So I was like, oh goodness. Okay. I'll answer anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Um, I think this is. Uh, really great. You'll probably get a lot of praise out of me because back when, when we did it, it was crazy and we didn't have these dates um, set in stone. And I think it makes it easier for everybody to follow. And I think it makes it easy for the people that are also applying for them to know what we expect out of them. So 
I think that's awesome. So so don't don't worry about me if I get excited. It's only because we did it a crazy way till two, three in the morning. So this is this is great. Okay, so we'll move on to four. Number four, review timeline, set future meetings for the year. Um, I think this had some of that. Um, Karen, I don't know if review timelines, um, what he just said. Um, so the request for proposal release would be for April 17th. The workshop would be for April 24th. Applications are due May the 26th at 5. And then applicants will be notified by June 7th that do not meet the requirements. Um, do you have a copy of this, Brett? Okay. Yes. Um, three to five reviewers are secured by May the 12th. Um, by June 23rd, application scoring as well as year performance. Week of June 26th, uh, approval of review. Week of July 10th. Appeal process closes by August 1st. Recommendations ready for the city council. And September 23rd, city council adopts the city budget. After city budget adoption, the SSG committee adjusts recommendations. And um, I would look to adopt this. I think this is pretty good. Um, we, we can always go back and amend it. Yes. It's adopted. It's and adopted, okay. Thing we need to do today and the, the thing to touch on would be to go ahead and mention the last item that's on there um, because it's beyond what the agencies are necessarily involved with what's the last what are you referring to Karen um, one of the things that has developed in the few years that you've not been on the committee is that the committee has set calendar for itself that, that there's an option to do a special study, study session and the timing oh out to be September or October. One year we did a session on senior services. One year we did a session on process. And so it's an optional session, but it's worth mentioning now so that the agencies as well as the committee both know that we have kind of penciled that if, there, if, if in the course of our experience this year, we decide we want to just focus on some area of social okay. services process that we can do it. Otherwise, for this calendar, if um, <clears throat> especially since we don't have everybody here, if if what we want to do is is simply task um, whoever, I guess Liz, between Liz and Brett, to doodle poll us for what we and go ahead and set our meeting dates themselves for the committee. Um, I say we adopt we adopt that. I'll make a motion to adopt the study session in September, October, or target issue optional. Um, I, I'll say I'll make a motion to adopt that uh, with the caveat that we can set any meetings that we need to as well. I, I don't think we need to. We've adopted this calendar and the council has adopted it as well. For us as a committee, it's just a matter of knowing what's in that. Okay. Yeah option is there for fall, all of us knowing. So okay. the United Way thinks we need to concentrate on something or some of the agencies do. Everybody knows we okay. block, and we just need to, um, unless we wanted to change it, it's set and we can just get our, our meetings set from here. I don't think we need to change it. I don't need but, 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 but I'm new. I'm just stepping in. So unless I see otherwise, I, I I'll bring it back to the committee, but I don't see that we need to change it. We just need oh. to set the dates. I, I like to set the dates for our meetings all the way out myself, rather than one at a time. Okay. Um, Madam Chair, it looks like essentially we need two dates, and I've got I've I I put together a simplified version of this calendar uh, that that I've got up here in front of me. Essentially, we need. Uh, we need a meeting during the week of June 26th. We need to set that meeting. And then we need to set a meeting after July 10th, but before August 1st. Okay. Um, because at some point in July, the Social Services Grants Committee needs to hear the appeals and then finalize those recommendations that will then go to council by August 1. 
Okay. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. So, so I don't. I know get, I get that. Okay, now I see that. I'm just. I was just reading that. Now you're saying you want to. You need a meeting the week of June the 26th, right? Correct. Okay. Yes, correct. So I don't know if we want to set that without Councilman Kell or if you want us or if you want Liz and me to work on a doodle poll and send that to the Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, okay. let's let's have Liz and you work on a doodle poll and we'll give that'll give him an opportunity to chime in for whatever reason he's not here. Okay, and then we'll oh. also do that for the meeting in July. Yep. Great. Yep. Yeah. Um, the work. last thing that I would just add is that it 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 could be um, especially germane to our work if we took a look at homelessness in September October, particularly considering that we have a homelessness summit coming up in April and a um, a uh, 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 a vendor who will be working on some solutions and they may be making some progress by the fall. And it may be a good time for us to take a look at that within this committee. So I'll just put that out there. If things change and the timeline doesn't work, we can certainly put together another topic. But I know there's a lot of energy and movement around that right now. So that could be something we could consider. Okay. I would like to make that motion. Is there a second? I'd like to wait. That one's that one, you know, we could by the by September have it all figured out because everybody in town's been working on it solid for four months or there could be something i mean we will always come back in the fall our regular routine is to once the grants are made the budget is passed is to come back in and and review our priorities our money all those you know how the process goes so we'll always do that i think it's a good idea for us to keep in mind that maybe homelessness would be something or something that has emerged out of uh you know a missing gap that's moved that's but we don't know that yet, and we've got a lot of great minds who are going to spend a lot of time on that in the next 90 days, looks like. I think that was send a strong message from this this committee, though, Karen. If we went ahead and set that, we could always go back and cancel it if we don't need it or reschedule something else. We have, you know, we can always do that. But I think that would send a strong message that we're really um, – on board with with that conversation as well, and especially if there's extra money that we come that comes available. So I would like to make I would like to make that motion. Um, is there a second? If not, then it'll just die for lack of second. Okay. Well, then it'll just die for lack of second. Okay. Good. Um, if I if, if yeah. I project. We're going to be doing a lot of work on neighborhood revitalization. A lot of the social services have had ARPA money to maybe expand some things that they're doing. There are a lot of things that I feel like lots of things are in motion right now, and it, sometimes it's kind of it makes your head want to explode. But over on the other hand, it's really good that we're doing that and that people are working on taking different, even within homeless, what, what's the best way to address mental health issues, get people back in a good place. Um, so I I don't I think we'll probably want to have that meeting, but I'm not sure what will be resolved and what will be still outstanding at that point. So that's just well, that's and, and that's I if, and correct me if I'm wrong, Brent Brett, um, that's all he was asking is to put that on the agenda. Is that correct? Yeah, I was just I was just putting it out there as a consideration for us as we're as as we're looking ahead, given the energy and the and the momentum with the work that that could potentially be one that we could take a look at in September, October, depending upon the timelines of the other of the larger work. That's and that's how I understood it, Karen. I just don't. It's on the list as far as I'm concerned. I just didn't feel like we needed to lock it. So. Well, that was his request that we locked it, so that we put it put it on there. So, if you don't mind, then I'll just put it on the agenda. Then, come come September or, or October. Okay. So, whether we voted it or not, then I'm going to request that it be 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 um, that your request be heard, and we we put it on there for September October. Okay, Liz. So make that in our minutes. Okay. Um, anything else on timeline set future meetings for the year? Liz is going to work with Brett, um, do the poll, 
and we'll put the homeless conversation in September, October. Liz can, I'll work with her on that. Um, is there anything else? I'm a chair that I am. If you want something on the agenda, just get a hold of Liz or get a hold of me and we'll get it on there. Because um, I feel like everybody's voice is important and I don't want to exclude anybody. Um, I want to try to be fair to, to everybody. Is there um, any any other, anything else to come before this committee? Other items? Yes, Karen. Um. I, I don't have anything, but I, I did like to open it up to see if anybody from the agencies did have anything to share before we close. Okay, well, that's that's the time to do it. Other items? Anything that they want to share? Any announcements? Other than K-State K had a hell of a game last night, and I'm not even a K-State fan, but I was last night. Anything else? Calling once. Letting you know that K-State is playing on Saturday at 5 o'clock. I'll be in front of the TV. Calling twice. Calling three times. If there are no other items, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Look forward to working with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.